How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We live in a 2006 Toyota Prius, and we're here to take you along on the wild ride. But today, we are changing it up a little bit. Since 2016, I've been working as a tour guide, taking teenagers all over the world. And today, we're taking you along for episode three of the epic journey around Iceland's Ring Road. Let's recap the last few episodes. But before we dive into our adventure, a quick thank you from our sponsor of this video, Cove Audio, and in turn sponsoring this adorable pup and his hip surgery through our charity, Camper Cares, funded by ads just like these. So thank you for letting us throw this in here. Cove sent us this portable Bluetooth speaker and we have absolutely loved it. The sound quality is great, giving this 360 surround sound effect, but what is so cool about this one and my favorite part is it splits apart. When you're in a Prius like this, you know, he needs his time over here, I need my time over here, but I still have amazing sound quality. Some other awesome aspects of the Cove commuter Bluetooth speaker are that it's water resistant. You can play it for up to seven hours on one charge. It has built-in microphones and the range is up to 32 feet. It's unique, it's affordable, and I have an amazing discount for you guys. If you use the link in my description or code Nikki Delventhal, you will get some major discounts on any Cove Audio products site-wide. All right, back to our adventure. Camper and Le Hotel Prius booked a staycation at my parents, and then I headed to Europe for three and a half weeks. I led my first tour island hopping all around Greece and then started my second tour in Iceland. We've explored some of the world's most gorgeous and unique locations on our road trip so far. Leaving off our adventure at the famous Detifoss and Selfoss, two gigantic waterfalls opposite each other. Detifoss is one of Europe's most powerful waterfalls fed by the glacier that we climbed earlier. <laughs> Teenage boys being teenage boys. After the falls, we hit heavier hotspots. This is crazy. Covered with boiling mud pools, steaming all around. We're on Mars, but it's in Iceland. I think I found one of the aliens. We're on the Martian <laughs> set, actually. Matt Damon's over there. Uh, Matt Damon? Yeah. Then we danced off to our next location, nearby lava fields, also seen in Game of Thrones. Well, my dragons are. Mother of dragons. Mother of 22 surrogate teenagers. <laughs> my dragons. Ah! How many dragons you got, Lil? 22. 22 little dragons. My reign has just begun. Speaking of Game of Thrones, you may also recognize these cave hot springs. You can no longer swim in them, so we got our hot springs fixed at the North Island's response to the Blue Lagoon. Relaxed from the soak the evening before, we headed to Husavik. Here we immediately geared up in our finest warm and weatherproof attire to go whale watching. You want some of this? Will there be some movement? I don't want this. It was a beautiful ride, with sights of the famous Icelandic driver Bo, mountains, and gorgeous island cliffsides with falls. Though we were probably part of the 0.00001% of people who don't get to see whales on their tour, we did get in a good nap. Here's what the other 99.999% of people who go on these tours see. Although the boys may have missed it anyways. Next up, go to Foss Waterfall. Waterfall of the Gods. It was breathtaking. The following day, we finally had some sunshine and spent it in Akureyri. We explored the streets. Oh my goodness, I found my Icelandic lava. <laughs> Just shooting down the birds. <laughs> Got in a workout and some post-workout smoothies. I feel healthy. 
enjoyed the local swimming pool. We explored the shores. Duckling crossing. Look familiar? It's like little ducklings. Pirated a boat. Found a boat. Ah, uh, ask permission to come aboard first. I'm the captain. <laughs> Can I please come on your boat, sir? Fine. <laughs> ah, who's ready to set sail? Where are we going? All you can eat sushi. And we quite literally ate all that we could. So oh. Before making the long drive to Sticky's Homer, where we would settle in. In order to feel at home, Lily needs to be packed and I need to create organized chaos. Play some music and get a good night's rest as tomorrow was our last full day before heading to Reykjavik. What are, what are we doing right now? Okay, okay, guys, waterfall. A stop secret waterfall. A secret waterfall. I don't know the name. Nobody knows about it. No. We don't know its name, so it's Bofoss. Nope. It's Bofoss. <laughs> Let's go. Lead in the way. We're going to Bo's secret waterfall. And we made some friends while we were there. No, you're staring them. Blending in didn't go as planned, so we gave them some space. Next up, a stop at the famous Kirkjafell Mountain. Seen on the cover of almost every Iceland guidebook. What a cool sight to see it in person. Next up, we would take the stunning coastal hike from Helnar to Arnastapi. Stopping to enjoy the views the whole way through. <laughs> Mountains and snowfall to our left. Amazing rock formations and coastline to our right. Take me to your leader. After the scenic hike, we worked up quite the appetite and took a boat tour to eat some Viking sushi. It was delicious. Stay tuned for our next episode and our final episode in Iceland where we say our goodbyes to the teens and I take you to Iceland's newest active volcano. And the best part, I get reunited with Camper. Subscribe to Nikki's channel and follow and likes for Camper. And share it, like it, love it, of course. Sharing is caring. <laughs> Thanks for watching. A big thank you to all of our newest Patreon members. If you'd like to join, the link will be in my description. For $1 a month, you can get all of our videos early access and during that time, ad free.